Hi, Steve from Custom Table Tennis and what we're going to have a look at today is our three wood blades. First of all we'll have a look at the the all-round wood and tell you what that means. Well, first of all it, most coaches will recommend when you first start out or you're coming back to it you want an all-round blade. So it's usually a five ply nice soft controllable woods and a neat, decent weight uh, usually 80 to 85 grams we'll just have a quick look at the weight on this particular one so this is the flared handle 83.3 and so that's right within specification now what we're going to do this and I'm going to try and remember to show you at the end we're going to seal the blade what we always do is just take the sharp edges off here all four and then we'll seal the blade but an all-round blade everybody every single brand 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 on the planet makes an all-round blade now what we've done in previous years we've just done the flared and we under understand why because it's a costing issue but this particular time so that's the flared so if you're not quite sure about the flared starts off there and then it tapers out and I would say nine out of ten players will choose the flared but there is another choice option of an anatomic now that starts a little bit bulges there and then tapers off and the theory is that that little bit sits in the hollow of your hand and it's an absolutely personal preference thing there's no right or wrong way for shake hands grip and then finally we've got the old classics uh, and that is just straight up and down all the way up and down so this is the all-round wood starting point we sell more of these than any other blade is an, is an all-round blade so moving along then so that's the all-round moving along along we've got the offensive wood now what does that mean so you want your bat to be a little bit quicker the blade is the heart of the bat and will determine how the rubbers will play you're going to get more control from whatever rubber you put on from the all-round if you're going a little bit quicker you want an offensive wood and this particular offensive wood is a seven ply so five ply all around seven ply and then they're usually a little bit thicker this way as well so offensive wood same thing we've got the um all the different handle shapes in this one as well and then finally of our wood series if you really want to step it up this is a, a pure hinoki blade I've actually wrote the weight on there now what I should mention you've got 78 there look you've got 82 you've got 83 the offensive is going to be a little bit heavier 86 to 88 and then the pure Hinoki this is our top spec blade so it's a Hinoki Hinoki top Hinoki I don't know if I'm getting on that one Hinoki all the way through quality and build is outstanding we've got that on the back on the bottom there so you can see what it is so top blades these are our wooden blades what you also get I'll, I'll shift to this before I forget is for each single blade you're going to get a registration card so we've got seven blades in the series result we've already done a video about the premium carbon range you get the blade weight and then the bat weight with when we've made the bat up and then you'll also get the date and the reason why we've done this is because we've as i said in the other video people say oh, i want a bat like so and so so and so at the club and then we go through this whole story of trying to get the same thing so you get this every time along with a nice presentation box to keep it in so what I'm going to do now because it's something that I always done and there's always a debate about sealing blades but when we get bats back and they've been supplied by us we know that the rubbers are always going to come off so you're just going to do the process again I've done it several times so what I generally do is just take the sharp edges off don't go silly if you want to do more that's entirely up to you but I know as a player those edges can cut into you 
I do it on mine, I do it on everybody's. <sighs> Half the time, people who buy from us don't even know what's being done. But <sighs> there you go. And then, we, we use this sealer, you don't have to use this, but what you want is a water-based acrylic, so it'll be ITTF approved. This is ITTF approved. The reason I use it, because I'm doing this all day long, I can do in between 10 and 30 bats a day. So, and the brushes, washing them out so this is easy for me also as you see it's easier to cut in so you don't want a lot you're not blathering it you just now you just squeeze it out that's about enough and then work it on quickly around the edges and that what i like about this is i can cut in down there i see people just go straight across but probably think why would you not go down there because then it's sealed from the oils from your hand it's not going to get soiled around there cutting nicely have a look that's starting to dry already then I also do the edges flip around the edges because the edging tape is going to stick a little bit better don't be too worried about it because we're going to do the other bit as well so right around the edges plenty on just in there as well right and then just go over again where you've been because you don't want those ridges when it dries so that's one side done other sides are going to be even quicker because you've only got the side to do so you just enough so when you take those rubbers off or you send your mat in to us to have the rubbers done you actually it's going to be a lot easier for us you know your blade your investment in your blade it's not going to be damaged and finally up there job done that's probably taken me around about a minute minute and a half and uh, we as i said we, we do that with all our blades so this is the new wood range so we've got the five ply all round we've got the seven ply bring them back in for a final look five ply all round we sell more of those than any other blade five ply all round put that one to dry we've got the different handle shapes they've got the seven ply and then the the high-end pure hinoki beautiful feel and touch from this we've, we've actually got sponsored players of a very very high standard playing with these blades so this is steve from custom table tennis if you want more videos just like and subscribe and then you'll never miss another video bye for now